2,600 was how many tasty treats we completed during this period. 2,252,600. And we go and we had figured out at the beginning of the year how many tasty treats were ready, completed, but unsold. Or finished goods inventory beginning, 38,000. worth of tasty treats. This was the total amount of finished goods during this period. We couldn't sell any more than that. So that's all we have available to us. So if we go to finished goods storage, figure out how many tasty treats are still there. And in fact, ending finished goods inventory is 40,000. We must have sold them $2,250,600 worth of tasty treats. We sold them for $10,800,000. We sold $2,250,600. The cost of our tasty treats. This is what shows up on the income statement. And yes, on the balance sheet, this ending amount plus this ending amount plus that ending amount is what shows up on inventory on the balance sheet. All of that to get that two million two hundred fifty thousand go on the income statement. So it goes on the income statement then. Well, we take our revenue. Less our cost of goods sold. Less all these period expenses, all these S and A expenses. We get pre-tax income, and then that's where this will come in, and we'll talk about these income taxes with my uh, the strike the Excel project. Any questions on? Statement of cost of goods, manufacturing statement of cost of goods sold. These are all internal reports with just the external number going to the income statement. 